Hello, beautiful souls. Ona here. It's Thanksgiving here in the United States. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to just send out a big heartfelt thank you to everyone who's been following me. I really feel just so blessed to have you in my life, uh, whether it's uh, my YouTube family or my Facebook family or those who have um, followed me on my e-newsletter and um, those who've been attending um, meetings of my uh my uh, group for Star Seeds of Spoken Earth Ministries. Um, it is such a pleasure to have you in my life. And <laughs> at this point, my life would just like totally not be the same without you. Um, you've just <laughs> been such a presence. And I, I want to thank you, um, first of all, just for being there. And, uh, you know, whether you're just a, occasionally drop in on my videos, or maybe this is the first time that you've dropped in. Um, or if you've been following me for a while, I think, you know, it's it's important to realize that everybody's presence matters. You make such a difference. Even just, you know, your energy makes a difference. And um, I can certainly feel it. And so I wanted to thank you. Also want to express my gratitude for so many things in my life um, right now. It's been not the easiest year, and I think that probably goes for a lot of us, but um, for me, there's so much to be grateful for that, um, you know, without listing every single thing, because I think I'd be here forever, <laughs> um, but certainly my my family and friends and, and just the beautiful nature um, that I, I, I live in um, is certainly something that I feel you know, um, I think every day should be a day of gratitude, but sometimes there are days where, it, you know, it's easy to forget um, to do that. And it's nice to have a, a day of just gratitude uh, dedicated to that. So um, as a thank you for just being you, for being here with me, I wanted to do a reading for you here. And um, I'm gonna, the deck I'm going to be using is one that I just recently got. It's this Raven card deck by Gabby Booker. I don't even know who she is, but I was <laughs> I was in um, traveling last week and uh, stopped into a, a spirit shop. And here were these cards. Uh, Raven's been coming forward for me quite a lot recently. And so I just felt like, um, you know, actually is partially as an act of gratitude for Raven to, to purchase these Um but they were, I, I was at a spirit fair last weekend, and these were the cards that um, I think most people gravitated towards. So I want to pull a card from the Raven deck here for you, um, just as a Thanksgiving. And I feel like um, the intention for this reading is to invite in and, and, you know, just show us the abundance that we have, whether, you know, and of course, it's going to be different for each of us as, you know, whoever is watching this, but, you know, we all have this ability to call in abundance. And so I, I want this card to just show us what we need to know about, um, you know, this, this whole, process of you know tapping into the abundance that's already there for us whether it's an abundance of love and connection or inner peace or harmony or um, whether it's the material abundance or the financial abundance that we're looking for or even just asking for a harmony and peace for the world i'm, I'm asking for this card to reflect what's already there for us so that we can draw it out of the ethers and into the world here. And I love this one. Um, there's three ravens here and it says, call your friends together, hold counsel, then take flight, sweep through the air and decide. Okay. So to me, this is really speaking of we're not in this alone. Okay. And no matter who you are or where you are in the world, um, you know, we all have times that we feel isolated and alone, but know that, you know, there's always friends available. And, and sometimes if we're physically not able to reach out, even if we're not able to reach out online or anything like that, um, we always have our spirit team. But beyond that, we always have you know, we have our ancestors, we have our angels, we have our dragons and our our, our spirit animals and all that. Um, but we're also 
always, and it's so important to remember this, we are always so connected to every single being on this earth because we are a part of this beautiful earth that we're on. And, um, you know, as such, we are, we are so connected one to another. And I think sometimes in this time of division, it's easy to forget that, that we really are all one, okay? And so when one heart beats faster, every heart feels it on the earth. When one heart is sad, every heart is going to tap into that and feel it at some level. And when one heart feels joy and gratitude, well, that does affect the all, okay? so you know, first of all, we're not alone and we always do each one of us. There, there, there are friends here for you. Um, but then when we actively call our friends together, hold counsel. I love that, you know, is is to reach out to the others and 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 it's talking about holding counsel and then taking flight. Okay, so there's <laughs> And sweep through the air. The, the air is this incredible element of the of all the elements. So I think we're calling on this element of air, which which is the mental plane often, right? It's it's associated with the mental plane. So again, even if you don't have your friends physically near, right? Using that mind to just kind of hold this image of you know holding hands around the earth. Um, <laughs> it can can be super super powerful, but then also I feel like this is going to be um, the year ahead, maybe a really beautiful one for connecting with friends and collaborating, collaboration moving forward. I know personally I've got several collaborations that are kind of brewing, and a lot of things um, kind of taking root for 2024. I'm really excited about it, um, but I think in terms of you know, where can you start reaching out to others and start to feel into, well, where can we work together? Where can we hold a common vision, right? And um, take flight in our lives. Because I think that possibility is there for everyone here. If you're listening to this, this possibility of taking flight, whatever that means to you. Um, take flight, sweep through the air and decide. So, you know, once we have some clarity about kind of what's important, then making those clear decisions is super important. So to, to work along with this Raven card, I'm also going to pull a card from my spirit animal deck and as a card of support, um, support for connecting with our friends, um, support for good communication, and support for taking the action, right, taking the flight that we need to do, and uh, support for clarity so that we can make wise decisions, decisions that are aligned with the heart, okay, and the animal that has come forward is otter, I love this, I always consider this kind of like the play card, um, Otter is a uh, just wonderful animal that it can help to teach us to, to take things, not even so much as not taking them seriously, but to enjoy the moment, to enjoy and, and bring some of that spirit of play into everything that we do. There's so much solemnity going on right now and so many, you know, concerns and issues that are, are being discussed. And, you know, it's important but I think sometimes um, it it can lead to losing sight of the joy of life. And so Otter is, is one here. Just look at him dancing with um, just this incredible state of bliss, right? He's got his eyes closed. He's just feeling the energy. And um, I think that can really help us to take flight is to hold that sense of playful energy and being in the flow and um, bringing that into everything that we do. Okay, so as uh, one more thank you, I'm going to, um, on my Etsy shop, I'm going to uh, put everything on a 10% discount for the next few days. Um, these cards are on there if you'd like to pick yourself up your own deck. Um, and I'm also, uh, I'm not going to post these today because it's Thanksgiving and I need to spend time with family, but um, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be putting some of my note cards. I just got these um, printed up and um, I have packs of cards. These are goddess cards. You can see on the other side, there's a number of goddesses. Um, 
I have some holiday cards. There's uh, four different designs. These are packs of eight and there'll be two per pack. And I've also got packs of spirit animal cards. Um, so that is um, going to be on Etsy. I'll try to get them up tomorrow, um, Friday after Thanksgiving. And again, it'll be the coupon code will be thank you and it'll get you 10% off um, probably for the next week. And again, heartful thank you. Uh, so much gratitude uh, to all of you. And I'm wishing you a very, very healthy, happy Thanksgiving.